lovers, uh, Maverick tried to flirt with Beth by impishly questioning her fashion knowledge. <laughs> so, you like to wear dead people's clothes. <laughs> hey everyone and welcome. I am Sailor Drew and this is RimWorld. So, a couple things have happened uh, since uh, the last episode, um, or at the end of the last episode, uh, White and Maverick are down with the flu. Um, it also got like super cold really fast. We're having a cold snap right now. So um, we need to prioritize harvesting this stuff right here. Uh, so let's see here, grow. Because if we don't, it will die. Um, we also need to prioritize uh, construction so that way we can construct some um, campfires for temperature regulation. Uh, let's see here. Temperature. It would also be nice to actually get like a legitimate heater. Okay, good. Because I was going to say, like, I don't know if, um, since these walls aren't smooth yet, we can't really, uh, put, uh, wiring through there yet. Um, let's see here. I started to put down some, uh, vents so that way we can get some, um, air warmer air flowing but because that's gonna take a while and I want to prioritize them uh, actually building the campfires and stuff like that I'll have the doors remain open so that way uh, warm air will be able to go through and oh Beth is like cozied up to Maverick so uh, she's uh, got some bruising and stuff uh, let's see here. So, I don't want them straying too far from home right now because I need them to uh, kind of prioritize with like all of these possible disasters. So I went ahead and restricted them to the home area so that way they'll sit there and prioritize um, harvesting all of this and then also getting it inside. Um, I do need to get it inside too because um, things are going to get start getting cold enough to where all the animals will actually come over and start eating our food if we don't. So yeah, there's a lot going on is basically what I'm getting at. And hopefully um, I'll be able to manage all of this. So Belle is doing something recreational right now. I really need her to prioritize uh, working on some stuff though. Uh, Aurora is making parkas still it looks like, which is good since we really, really need them. Um, yeah. So because these can uh, give us enough fur for uh, one park at each, I really need to uh, take those down. So hopefully after she's done with that one, she'll go hunting and then she'll make someone another parka because the parkas are definitely going to help. Um, let's see here. So in addition to making parkas, let's have her make some toques. Uh, we have five people, possibly six. So, yeah. Um, and we only need like three more parkas. Because they're wearing some right now. Um, unless they're wearing... Let's see here. I just want to make sure, yeah, see, so her his parka is like at 47%, so it's like quite tattered. Oh, and hers is tainted, which means that we got it off of a dead person. So, and they hate wearing tainted clothing. Um, so yeah, she does need to make at least uh, two additional ones. So, let's see here. So, only one person has one good parka. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because eventually, hopefully, this guy will join us. Um, I do need to put somebody else on warning as well. Since um, he, uh, since our warden is down with the flu. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. So, let's see here. How's he doing right now? Yeah. He's just sick and stuff, so. Uh, let's see here. So, we need to have them prioritize building stuff and... Since they're in poor moods and stuff, they're going to want to spend more time doing kind of leisurely stuff, but we don't have time for that. Uh, let's see here. So, prioritize building that. Um, 
Yeah, she's relaxing, but she's like also warming up some because she's got a little bit of hypothermia. Um, I really, really do need them to start harvesting this though sooner rather than later. So I'll let her kind of take a moment to kind of warm up and then um, I'm going to have her and Aurora uh, start harvesting. So let's see here. Yeah. See, I don't know why she was cleaning when cleaning isn't um, high on the priority list. So I'm just going to have to get used to their new behaviors with um, AI tweaks that have been introduced over the last year or so. And uh, yeah, so that'll be interesting, basically. Oh, skill too low. Beth can construct. Oh, wait. Wow, really? How high do you need to be to construct this? And Chio is our highest constructor. And she's still down. Yeah, she got her butt handed to her. Because um, she's only a three melee and white is 13. So that makes sense. <laughs> like, I feel bad for her. Like, uh, that definitely wasn't my intention. Um, but, you know, it happens. Uh, let's see here. So I have them uh, stuck at home. I'm going to expand it a little bit. To this area so that way we can pick up all this wood and stuff to uh, build the fires and then also uh, replenish uh, let's see here so these guys they have parkas they're probably still gonna be like pretty cold um, <clears throat> so I need somebody to walk through the door to open it up let them have their meal first watching the sunset. I'm like, yeah, we don't have time for that. Uh, let's see here. So I also need people to prioritize hauling. So that way I can uh, have them haul everything after they are done harvesting it. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to have her draft her and then have her run over here. Okay, so why is it not... It's plugged in. Why don't I have power? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why it's not getting power. But after she's done eating, we'll have her um, construct this one as well. And then also prioritize working on that campfire. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know why it's not powered because you can actually see like the little power cord plugged into the power I don't know I mean we should have enough power to run all of this from this one generator so so yeah I don't know Hmm. Okay, Beth is healed, which is good. Oh, the uh, the plants are dying. Okay, so what's Aurora doing? She's resting? Yeah, no. I need them all to sit here and prioritize harvesting these, because, yeah, they're all dying off right now. Oh, and Aurora's like, I am not doing that. Okay, good. I was going to say. Reducing resistance. God, what's his resistance at now? 35? Jeez. I should have just let him die. <laughs> like, I hate to say it, but uh, it's just taking so long to get him uh, healed. Uh, Alright. So, let's see here. Um... I really need medical beds so that way they'll stop uh, shacking up with with uh, Maverick for healing because right now she's got a little bit of hypo uh, damage from hypothermia so yeah Uh, 
Oh god. Okay, Aurora, I know, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, no, she's she's done. She's Oh wait. I don't know why you can't click on certain things sometimes. Oh no, sad wanderer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I knew I was pushing her. I was hoping that she'd be able to handle it a little bit longer. Um, so she's broken down and is wandering around in sadness. Having because of poor mood, uh, final straw was unsightly environment. Alright. So let's have them haul that urgently. Um, I may have to start building fires in people's rooms. Uh, well, it's 54 in there. It's starting to warm up. So again, like, I don't know why these are not on. Like seriously, like these should have enough power. Let's uh, turn these off since we don't really need them on just, just now and see if that helps and see if we can't get some power to these, um, which I mean, don't really need one in here because the guy has the fire like all to himself. Although, actually, they just built the vent, so that way we'll have some warm air kind of flowing. So, I don't know. Okay, cool. So, they got all the food inside. Um, let's see here. So, schedule. Um, I don't really care if they go anywhere else. I'm going to keep Maverick at home. I mean, he's stuck in bed anyways for quite a while. Oh, he needs to be treated as well. Um... So, Aurora was our secondary doctor. She's sleeping now. Um, let's see here. Who else is somewhat good? No one. <laughs> no one is. They're all level two. Uh, so, Chio. And then, uh, let's see here. Let's have her tend to white. Yeah, so immunity is 46%, flu is minor, 36%. So if the, the, whatever the affliction is, if it reaches 100, it'll kill them. So it's good that the immunity is higher. Um, but we need to kind of pay attention to that and make sure that they are recovering. Because, um... So we'll just have everybody prioritize doctoring right now. Because it seems like they keep dropping like flies. <laughs> uh, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, Alright, and then we're running low on uh, on meals. And now that this was all taken care of, um, which I turned off sewing. So that way they won't sit here and try and replant. Which they shouldn't because it's 13 degrees outside. But I don't know. They've done dumber things, so who knows. Uh, Alright. So let's build a vent for that. There is uh, a source of heat up here, and then uh, which is venting down here, but it's just going to take a little bit longer. So I'll uh, add an additional vent for a little bit more help. So a bell isn't uh, suffering too much longer from hypothermia. Uh, let's see here. So I've also got berries laying around that need to be hauled in. Um, oh yeah, see, like all the animals are running around and eating all the berries that I harvested. I also need to uh, prioritize hauling some wood because um, they keep having to run outside and like pick up handfuls of wood when it would be better if it was inside my stores instead of like out in the wilderness, especially now that it's cold and Chio doesn't have a parka on. Uh, she's a risk for hypothermia. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, yeah, I think, um, I think we're good. So I think everything has kind of been addressed. Still pretty chilly inside. We still need a lot of parkas, but it's, uh, we're doing, we're doing okay. Not super great, but okay. And uh, after all this is hauled in, hopefully uh, Aurora will start hunting the mufflos so that way we can get enough fur for for uh, parkas. Uh, this is also a kind of a, a good example of why you want to make sure that you have enough uh, food stored up 
for winter because eventually if it gets too cold all of the animals that aren't really well suited for the cold will actually leave uh oh that wolf is kind of getting close too um so taking care of predators that might have to happen sooner rather than later let's take a look at this oh wow an advanced component mm. We've intercepted messages about a collection of valuable items worth 600 silver, not far from Moonlit Valley. The collection consists of three advanced components. It seems that there may be an unknown threat. So advanced components um, are super expensive to make and super expensive to buy and kind of rare whenever you do find somebody who is selling them. So that might have to happen. Uh, this one is still available. So I don't know, we may have to go some, do some traveling, like after we get some parkas and some food, but uh, we'll have to see because we're kind of running low on meals and um, the whole not having parkas thing is uh, kind of an issue. Okay, so let's have, um, oh, Beth is sleeping. Let's see here, let's have Bell refuel. There we go. All right, so she just tended white. Let's see here. Uh, in 15 hours, we'll be able to tend Maverick. He's at 88% immunity, so he's getting on up there. Uh, 87 immunity, so he is also getting on up there. I just, uh, I think I just greatly underestimated or overestimated, like I'm not really sure. Um, how hard it would be to recruit this guy. I was like, why is she sleeping in here? I forgot. I built these for medical beds. So that way they'd stop sleeping with Maverick. Um, I need to give her her bed back since she's fully recovered now from getting her butt handed to her. Yeah, she, uh, she, uh, almost died. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Um, but it's warming up inside. Oh, it's getting colder outside though. It's starting to snow now. Not good. Okay, uh, so let's hunt these guys. It's just letting me know that there's um, a chance of them retaliating, which we knew about. Um, well, yeah, look how few animals are. Oh wow, there are three cougars now on the map. I think that squirrel is about to peace out too. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Rip. Uh, wow. Okay. So the cougars are going to become a, oh, and a grizzly bear. Gosh. Okay. So the predators are going to become a ever increasing threat because all of the smaller animals and all of the other animals are fleeing the cold temperatures. So that means that they're gonna start hunting us instead because uh, we're gonna be the only meat walking around. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's gonna have to happen this episode. Yeah, your time has come, Mr. Wolf. Uh, yeah, because once these rams are gone, I think uh, we're probably gonna be next on the menu for sure. It used to be, um, it used to be so nice because whenever you clicked on them, you could actually see like how hungry they were. So I would actually, um, send out people whenever they were full so that way they wouldn't be bothered. <laughs> but I mean, I guess it makes sense that, uh, we wouldn't know, uh, how hungry a predator would be. So I'm not too mad that they took away that update or that, uh, that feature. Uh, all right, so let's see here. Furniture. Because I wanted to add a light in here for her. As she's sitting here working on feeding us. Normally I have everything lined up, like, because I like to, to all be even and stuff, but oh well. Um, and then I'm going to have Aurora go out with uh, Chio. No, no, not Chio. Uh, who else has a gun? Oh, Beth dropped hers whenever she was incapacitated. Uh, oh, look, Maverick's up and about. Oh, he developed immunity. Excellent. 
he's still not at his best, but I'll take it. Um, I also just realized, let's see here, unless for some reason I don't have it on here. Um, okay, yeah, it doesn't look like it. I don't know. Dang. Okay, so I wonder what uh, mod that is. I just don't understand why like half the things got uninstalled. It should have, um, in the past, if mods were out, out of date, it would highlight red and let you know. It wouldn't like actually like uninstall them all together, but I don't know, that could be a new thing too. Um, but it, there used to be uh, something that I had that would actually increase the speed of uh, researching. It was like a little filing cabinet. Yeah, and I don't see it anywhere. Dang. That stinks. Okay, uh, I also need to start preparing a space for our batteries. So, let's see here. This should be good. Uh, Actually, let's have them. Yeah, okay. And then we'll do the batteries on each side. Um, let's see. Okay, so she's butchering the kills. Uh, let's see here. So who is good? Oh, yeah, see. This wolf is, yeah, not good. Um, okay, so who's good at shooting? Aurora obviously is, um, and Beth. So she's sleeping because I might actually send out Belle as well. I usually sent out a, a, a team of people to take out predators because it's just insurance essentially. Um, so that way nothing happens and then I have to worry about that as well. Um, so I'm kind of wondering if uh, I should just do that now. Because I don't really want to wait for Beth to wake up, although... I mean, she's almost done sleeping. I'm just afraid if I wait much longer... Um, we're gonna be in trouble. Uh, we're gonna be in trouble. Oh, yeah. See, look. Okay, so Belle became a target of a timber wolf. Let's recruit our gals. Uh, and Beth, you're gonna have to uh, run for a little while and fend for yourself. And hope we don't run into any more of the cougars. Okay, I was gonna say, like, I don't know why she's not shooting at it. Oh, good job. Okay, cool. Alright, yeah, because she was grabbing that, um, that buck to process. Oh, what the heck? Alright, so we're gonna send out Aurora and Beth to take care of... Where is it? So we've got two cougars and a grizzly bear. And we're gonna have them take care of the grizzly bear first. And I'm not even gonna pick up the bodies. Like I'm just gonna sit here and like just kind of cannot hit target. Oh gosh. Okay, this is <laughs> becoming somewhat of a dangerous situation. Uh, let's see its health. It's going to die in 11 hours, um, but that's still plenty of time to do plenty of damage. So, uh, mental minor risk break, Belle and Beth. Okay. So I'll let them um, stand down for now. And then tomorrow we'll take care of the two cougars up there. So, and as, I mean, predators wander in 
continuously so I don't expect them to like stay away completely. Um, I really, 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 really need to start stone cutting so that way I can start working on my kill box. Uh, any stone blocks? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'll just do any stone blocks and then after this episode I'll ins and install, um, I'll in install, I don't know why that word was so hard to say. Um, I will install a mod that lets me do multiple stones at once. Um, stone cutting doesn't give us like actually any experience, unfortunately. Um, so I'm hoping that I will have somebody who's really good at crafting. Oh, and it's Aurora, of course. So she will be able to do that. Um, she's still got, uh, parkas and toques to make. So, let's see here. Okay. That should be good. Um, I just know that we don't really have, like, a lot of the same type of fur, so that's why she's, like, making parkas on and off. Because as soon as she gets enough fur to make one of them, uh, she makes another one. And it would be really nice to at least get pet, uh, Beth a parka, so that way she's not wearing a tainted one. Oh god, it's like 82 inside now. Okay, so I might actually be able to turn these off. Because it's gotten quite warm enough. Um, and then if it starts to get cold again, then I will... Why is he... Oh my god. Oh, it's because I don't have a bed for him. Okay, uh, let's see here. Maverick. Done. So, oh, okay, I wanted to get his attention so that way he'd actually go to bed. Instead of sitting there like a weirdo. But. Um, okay, so research. God, it's taking him forever to research batteries. I feel like that little filing cabinet helps so, so much. Because he's a fairly good researcher. Well, I get, well, he's only eight, I guess, so. Um, and then now that he's uh, well, I will uh, take Chio and Beth off of wardening because I want him to be reducing his resistance. <sighs> you know what? I think I'm just going to release him because honestly, His re resistance is still ridiculously high. And recruitment difficulty is 99% and a recruitment chance is 3.5. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm just going to release him. Because um, I don't need the extra mouth to feed and really it's taking him way too long to um, reduce his resistance and stuff like that. I mean, he was good practice, I guess. Uh, it's just unfortunate. Because he is, like, really good rounded out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so new lovers. Oh. I guess them shacking up. Uh, in that, in the, like, the little sick bed. Uh, brought them closer together. Because, uh, now they are lovers. Uh, Maverick tried to flirt with Beth by impishly questioning her fashion knowledge. <laughs> So, you like to wear dead people's clothes. <laughs> Beth was attracted and is now Maverick's lover. Uh, they will want to sleep together. So, oh, which they already did it. Good job. Cool. Um, okay, so part of the issue, though, is that... Okay, they do have the same recreation. Um, but now I'm going to put Maverick on the same sleeping schedule and see how he handles it because, um, I don't want them to be on different sleep schedules. So, uh, people who, yeah, we kicked him out. So now he's running to the edge. There he goes. That would have been a poetic justice if like a cougar took him out. Oh, but it went from 80 to 68. Wow. Um, let's see here. 
Oh, I thought he was a pirate. Wow. I can't believe he was so, like... Dang. Oh, well. Um, all right. And Bulk Trader is coming. Wow, our very first uh, caravan of traders. So they're coming to uh, trade with us. We could sit here and attack them and take all their stuff, but... I mean, air quotes, could. Like, we would have the choice. It's not like we would be successful, because... There's only a couple of us. Uh, let's hear miscellaneous caravan. No. Okay. So the ever growing list of mods that I have to replace. So a uh, caravan trading spot is one of them because it used to be, and maybe it's not like this anymore, but it used to be where the caravans would like walk through your fridge and like walk through your house and stuff like that. And it was just like, why? And then they would like park their animals like on top of your fields and like eat all of your stuff. So yeah, no. So trading spot. And then uh, filing cabinet, whatever mod that was. I think it was probably like extra furniture. So I'll take care of that and we'll be good to go. The good thing about this game among many others, is how easy it is to install mods because you can do it through the Steam Workshop, uh, which I wish I wish Stardew Valley you could do that um, because then it would actually like clock all of my hours that I've played on Stardew Valley and then all of my achievements as well. Oh, somebody's gonna refuel the campfires. Um, but yeah, so it's easy to mod everything that, and it doesn't, it typically doesn't break your game if you add mods on after the fact, like, so the save files can take it fairly well. So that's not going to be an issue at all. So I just wish I would have realized that I was missing those a lot sooner, but it is what it is. Um, so Maverick is our, uh, our social person. So I will wait for him to wake up. Oh, which he just did. He's researching. Uh, let's see here. Have trade. Uh, I need to look at Beth and see. So mining, we need her to start mining that out for batteries. Oh, they have puppies, but I don't, I don't want animals right now because that's just one more mouth to feed. Um, let's see here. So, I think I rid of the bird skin since I have so few of them. Uh, cloth pants pour, I'll get rid of. And I think that's it, really. They do have some armor, um, which would be nice to have, but I don't really want to spend my money on that just in case I need to buy food from somebody later on. Um, let's see here. They have some components. Ugh, yeah, see, components are so expensive. And the advanced ones are even more expensive, so... Uh, oh no! Laboratory Retriever Meat! I don't want to ask how they got that! No! <laughs> uh, let's see here. How much would the gazelle meat take, uh, cost? I mean, I have quite a lot of meat. So, I think it'll be fine. Um, I'll buy the chocolate from them, though. Eating chocolate gives, uh, our little dudes, like, a little positive buff. So... Yeah, I think, I think that's going to be it. And because we traded with them, oh, well, usually when you trade with somebody, um, it helps the uh, relationship go up a bit, but I guess not this time. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's kind of the hard part is that it, uh, once you're so used to playing with mods after such a long time that uh, 
You forget what's vanilla and what's modded. Um, okay, so I really need to start working on this. Let's see her. Yeah, she's making blocks, so oh, that was the other one that I needed. Uh, so bulk stone cutting. So she's making slate. So orders. Structure, slate. Uh, let's see here. So this is gonna take like all of our slate box uh, blocks and then some. Um, but what I really need to do is make sure to have doors in between each of these. So really, wood is going to be. imperative that I probably start cutting stuff down. So, and we'll just start with this for our kill box because, um, it's going to take a lot of maintenance to upkeep this, um, as well as, uh, time spent building. But the reason why we put the doors in between like every other one is because I'm going to put uh, spike traps here. And if I don't do that, then they'll have to walk over all of the spike traps to get to one to fix. Um, and we don't want that. No, indeed. Um, and then this will also give access to like um, people that we're friendly with and stuff. Ooh, Ooh bison wool, huh? Okay, so let's uh, make sure to haul those. And then uh, the steel slag chunks, I eventually want them to move them over to our little dumping site because uh, we'll melt it down to get steel out of it eventually. And eventually, like, even though there's, like, a ton of steel, like, kind of exposed and around, um, steel will become an issue because we'll have, like, built so much stuff with it. Um, okay, so let's, uh... Uninstall that. And hopefully we won't, we won't get attacked anytime soon to where we'll need. Uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah, she's prioritizing kind of the med base area stuff. But I really need to... No path. Why is there no path? Oh, because I clicked on the second one. Okay. Yeah, I really want her to prioritize uh, mining this out so that way we can build some batteries. So, power, subsurface conduit, and, um, oh wait, no, I was just on the tab. Okay, there we go. Okay. Start out with three. See how we do with that. Um, which, time to refuel the generator. Uh, this is why I usually use fires too, so that way, um, if I run out of power or whatever, it won't be such an issue. So, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna look up those mods, get them installed, and then, uh, our base is coming along. It's, uh, you know... It's slow goings, because it's like there's so many jobs to do. Oh, it looks like the animals are returning, too. The weather is getting nicer, so. Um, oh, it's only fall? <laughs> oh, my God. I thought, like, winter had already come and passed. So things are going to get a lot colder. So I guess we'll take advantage of this next episode by sending... Aurora out to hunt. I'll probably send Belle without, uh, out with her to take care of the predators so that way she can hunt with no issues. But I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Uh, let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. I always love hearing your comments. We also do a, a frequent commenter shout out because I mean I genuinely do really appreciate it. So it lets me know that I'm doing a good job entertaining you guys. So yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for commenting, liking the video, and subscribing. But until next time, take care.